All right. So um, uh, next uh, would be lifetime. Like what I think what sucks big is if you generate um, you put all this work into it, you you land a, a good, competent, professional real estate agent that wants to grow their business at your firm. OK. Um, and you put resources into them and nine months later they quit. That sucks. That's painful. Yeah. And then they go on to have a really great career in life uh, somewhere else. OK. They may have benefited from what you show them and taught them. OK. Uh, but bottom line, they quit. So every agent has a lifetime value. And if you can extend the lifetime of an agent at your firm that produces good income for themselves and your agency benefits, you're going to be able to afford to invest more on the front end in getting more of those agents. But if you have a short lifetime cycle, you're going to hold back on investments into your business to make it better for the people that are there and getting more. Right. So um, lifetime value of an agent. Have you sat down and figured out, you know, sort of what the lifetime value of an agent is at your firm? Yeah, we have. Yeah. Yeah, it's $180,000. That's pretty substantial. So if it's, the lifetime value is 180,000 bucks, then I mean, you could invest $10,000 to get one. Yeah. You got to get them, got to get them on the fast chart, start checklist. You got to get them business right away. You got you got to invest money in it. Yeah, absolutely right. And uh, and I don't think people know what to invest if they don't really sit down and calculate the lifetime value. So this is on the agenda for the Millionaire Broker Owner Summit uh, at the end of June. And I would make sure that uh, you're writing that down. That's why we got this PowerPoint up here. So you can write notes uh, right now on things that you need to be paying close attention to and developing and doing in your own business as we're basically doing the, uh, the teaching you some of these things today. OK, so um, the what I like to do is we talk about the happiness factor. OK, so if an agents aren't happy, they're not going to stick around. Um, not all agents are into uh, progressively growing their income. You know, their currency is in something else. So you sort of got to know uh, what an agent's currency is, what makes them happy, what makes them uh, stick in order to really develop a really good stick system. So if you're just recruiting any old agents into your business, you can expect a lot of churn uh, because we're trying to be all things to all people. Uh, so it, so the lifetime agent system, um, your core values and vision, the recruiting system, all of it ties together. They're not disconnected. Uh, did I get that right, Jay? Yep. 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 So. Um,